Think of uh, that. Hang. Hang brain. What's that? Uh, what's that movie? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, like shenanigans or something? With when they do the brain, like you wrap your dick around the, your yeah. balls or and like you hold the, it. Yeah, it's like a brain. Yeah, yeah. What is that? <laughs> uh, oh, Todd. Todd always used to not. Shit. What is it? I don't know what it's from, but I, I do. I'm gonna know think about other. it real quick. Yeah, you guys, you guys, hold down for it. He's thinking about it. It's some like so. He's... I, I had a friend who did who did the brain. The brain. He, yeah, he would come out and brain us. Then he'd be like, "Oh, you look, you're gay." <laughs> <laughs> like, hey guys, look at this. Huh? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Damn it. It's, it's funny how like early two thousands. Yeah, back that was the time. Being kids, you like think you could somehow become gay, or like that it's even a bad thing to be gay. Oh, you remember? Look, me? it was a restaurant, guys, and there was like people working there. Is that that's what you're talking about, right? It yeah, that's like shenanigans. Yeah, that's shenanigans. It's called shenanigans. Oh uh, no, it's called waiting. Waiting. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank God. And then, oh, what? Is that Ryan Reynolds? Oh, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's called waiting. And then it's the guy, really funny. It is funny. And the guy at the end just like... Dane Cook? That's right, Dane Cook, isn't it? Ryan Reynolds uh, and Dane Cook. They're like kind of like half lookalikes. Oh, they are. They are, yeah. But yeah, go for it. Sorry. No, I no, that was it. it. That was it. No. <laughs> Featuring brain. I just want to think about it. They, they were doing all that, that whole... The brain. They did the, the brain. brain against him. Oh, uh, yeah. There was that person who complained. And they all like fucked with the person's food and did a bunch of fucked up shit to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's no good. It's hilarious. No, it's funny if it's in a movie. That's true. That was like I remember being <laughs> in the Dane Cook or, like right after that too. He did like the vicious circle, I think is what it was called. That was one of his specials. I thought Dane Cook was funny then. I don't know. Is he funny? I don't know. Uh, he's all right. He's yeah. all right. Yeah. How, how old were you at the time? Yeah, I was young, like twelve. I was gonna say yeah, yeah. That that's you totally get it. Past. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I always thought he was annoying and right. not funny, but like yeah, Chris, I, but like Chris is like, no, he's good. Yeah. Like you just probably weren't paying attention, and, um, and that's, that's funny. That's probably well, fair. The thing yeah. is, is he has a style. Yeah, he has a very specific style. Yeah, and he's a he's got a niche. But that is the thing, and though. there is funniness in it. It's just you know, I mean, he's no Eddie Murphy. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. like. The, 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 there's like he has he's a good performer and and he does have his own style and there is something to say about that mm -hmm. anybody that has their own style at any art is mm -hmm. you know that's cool I was like watching Theo Vaughn do his stand up his one special and like the first ten minutes he had Dan Cook energy and like it was in the comments too and they were like oh he almost had like Dan Cook energy in kind of a negative way uh, yeah it, but 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 I was just like oh but you can recognize Dan Cook in another comedian good for him you know that's kind of it's kind of interesting. Because he has a style. Because he has a style. Yeah. yeah. Like, as a guitarist, that's fucking hard to achieve, dude. Especially as a guitarist. I oh, think that's, yeah. you know, any artist wants mm -hmm. to do that. I mean, maybe not. Originally. Any yeah. artist, not necessarily. See, that's the thing, though, is anybody who play everybody who plays music, not necessarily an artist, you know? So. Yeah. So, but any artist, I would think, would want to have their own sound. And yeah. Their own take on something. Yeah. Yeah. Something I, distinct. I, I, I don't know. I say that because you I need? did, um... I took a lot of like art classes in, in school and there would be these people who are like super good at like drawing like a bowl of fruit, you know? But it's like, is that a skill set or is that actually art? You know what I mean? Because it gets people to feel a thing when they look at it, but it's not, they're not abstracting. I mean, but do you have to abstract? It no. depends though. No. These are questions. I mean, <laughs> it, it that, depends. That though. feels like art to me in my gut. I think like there's like, I think there's a level of depth you can even put into photorealism by what you choose to draw. Sure. It's, it's almost like the same kind of art, like this photography is an art. Right. right. And so, I mean, how would drawing basically a picture not be art? And yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, like there's that dude um, on TikTok. He he does like these crazy photorealistic like pictures of people's faces and shit. Yeah, it yeah. looks like a high death picture. Right. It's just like, wow, what yeah. the what the literal fuck? Dude. Yeah, you're yeah. you're so, being moved by. Yeah. Oh, it's insane. Yeah. And he there's always like a story about like you know the person who he's fo fo take, um, who's photo drawn. Yeah, who he's oh, drawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's always, um, always interesting, you know, because you have, like, one thing, uh, like a, a name, art, you know? Yeah. Or like we were saying about jazz, like, that means something different to every single person that hears that. Sure. Yeah. Or like, they would say that this is art or this is not, not art. This is not <laughs> yeah. Or like you were saying about, like, Dane Cook, like, 
Is it funny? Like, is it not funny? Yeah. At the end of the day, Subjective. it is funny because right. he's people famous. Laugh at it. Yeah, people <laughs> like, laugh that, at it. That, that's not made up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's that's true too. Not, it's just whether that's or not a good you, point. You understand? There, there is a reality so to that. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. It's like it's like Nickelback. Yeah. It's like, dude, yeah. they're yeah. fucking huge. They're obviously good. Yeah. They're obviously good. Like, what do you mean they're not good? Yeah. You just don't understand. You just don't understand. Yeah, it. yeah exactly. And now I agree with that one hundred percent. That was me with Led Zeppelin when I was a kid. I never liked any of that stuff. And then somebody was just like, you just don't get it. And I was like, what do you mean I don't get it? And then one time I was stoned and I got it. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, now I need to listen to all this other stuff I don't like. Because maybe it's yeah. good. No, see, that's interesting. I think yeah. uh, there's shifts inside yourself. Like, you, Grant, you there, you said you smoked weed. And then it <laughs> got, got you to see that other <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I, there is something to say about that. That's why, like, that's when drugs, I think, are, like, useful. Um, to get you out of that. To you know, show you right? there's something else, like, another side of consciousness. This is a different way to see the world, literally. Like, yeah. experience, perceive the world. Yeah. You can perceive the world in more than one way. It's like a forced meditation. Meditation yeah. state. Yeah, exactly. It just, like, gets you into that. Now, just, now, and I think just because you have that experience doesn't mean that you, like, embody it or that you understand it. But, like, it does show you. And if you're if you're paying attention, you know. Yeah, it'll show you a different perspective. A different perspective. Whether yeah. or not you choose to act on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, I found. I remember when I was like really young. You know how like when you and I used to I, when I was a JP. You know, and I used to do that <laughs> for for people that don't know, junior pothead. Yeah, junior pothead. When a I was, JP. We had this like rating system. We had like a JP and a and a SP. So Pass it, it along. A, junior pothead, senior pothead. Because there's like this notable difference between people who like acted stereotypically stoned yeah, yeah, yeah. and couldn't really like handle themselves and then people who uh, could just smoke and like handle themselves. It was like fine, like yeah. you, you were a senior pothead. It's like when you, when, when you first start smoking yep. and you just like can't stop giggling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like laughing the whole time. Yeah, I like everything and you don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> like that's that's a JP move. 100%. Yeah, I feel like it's also a stoner thing to do to like name things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, also yeah. it yeah. has that little bit of like Big Brother energy, right? Where you're like, you got to give them a little bit of shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. To like, to, to you know, like so to help like, nudge them into like a like yeah. the, the etiquette of it almost yeah. like <laughs> the well, stoner brotherhood. Well, yeah, the brotherhood. Yeah. Like, yeah. and you can't. It's, it's funny. You know, I remember because. You know, now I'm like an adult, <laughs> you know, like, uh, you know, it's, it's way different than when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, 18. I was like 15, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so 15 smoking with a kid who's 14 and he doesn't really quite have a handle on it. And he's just like super baked and blah, blah, blah. we're just like, hey, this guy's a JP, bro. You got to come up the ranks, man. <laughs> senior see your friends, your buttons. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, weed culture. <laughs> We yeah. would have different names for the degrees of which we were stoned. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't remember them all, but I remember no, no, one wonder. of them was called Donut Christ. <laughs> Bro, I'm Donut Christ right now. <laughs> and that was like almost to the, That's to funny. the top. I remember uh, when we played with that May band, May something, these young cats that came over to Tyler's and they, they were saying Bake is Cake. Oh, you that's that? good. No, I do not. Actually. Oh, what was their band name? I like Baked This Cake. Yeah, they, like dude, they're like, I'm Baked This Cake, man. Dude, and they like were, too, dude. Man. We, uh, we, um, we <coughs> called it Super Mega Waffle. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah. Super <laughs> Mega Waffle, dude. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, it's a Super Mega Waffle right now, dude. Yep, yeah. That's really funny. Comment below your names for being high when you were kids. Yeah. <laughs> the, most, for real. the most ripped you've ever been. <laughs> Tell us about it, dude. It, it's cool. There's like a name for everything, you know. Like There's more uh, than one, usually. Dude, shotguns. I love. We love doing. Oh shotguns. yeah, shotguns. with a blunt. Yeah, with a blunt. Yeah. You turn a blunt around, and yeah. yeah. And we would do this thing. We call it a river, uh, where we would put, we would cut our, the person would cut their hands and put their lips to it, and then the other dude would his trail. Yeah, they would blow it down the fingers, and it would kind of create like a little river of smoke. Oh. And you just, and then when you were done, you just. You know, take the rest of it. What about uh, the, the, the dumbest thing you've ever done to get high? Oh, bro, I don't even... Uh, so, I thought you said... Right away, I did, I got this <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, I got a couple. Um, I got a lot, actually. I got a couple, too. Um, so, no, off the top of my head. All right, do with this... Okay, I really want a safety safety thing. 
I don't suggest anybody do any of no, this stuff. No, do, don't do any of this Yeah, stuff. I just want to say this out So dumb. They call me safety dad for a reason. I want to put a disclaimer out there. That don't is. do this shit that we're talking about, Mike. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> do not do it. Uh, just um, the way you do that. Don't do it. <laughs> um, so, me and my friends really wanted to trip, like hallucinate. Um, and okay. we were trying to chase down some shrooms and all that stuff wasn't actually as easy back then and no one had it. And so we were, you know, one of us, I don't remember who it was, um, said, you know, I heard you could trip if you take nutmeg. Oh yeah. Um, by the way, it's fresh nutmeg. Not by the way, in the bottle. not like McCormick, yeah. you know, <laughs> fresh yeah. nutmeg. But we didn't know that, yeah. so we went out and we were call we were calling people to see if they had nutmeg at their house. <laughs> and we you got that meg, bro. And so <laughs> trying to get meg. Yeah, we were calling Super people. Super mega waffle. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is not where that came from, but that is pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, That's funny. <laughs> uh, so we got nutmeg, and we each took a, tea, uh, a tablespoon of nutmeg straight. And uh, chased it down with Dr. Pepper. Disgusting. <laughs> and then we just for good measure. Why did he? Like, I feel like you, it was, you, you specifically had Dr. Pepper for a reason. Because uh, the friend I was with, that is all he drank. Okay, yeah. So that's, that's how you remember this. Oh, yeah. That is, yeah I'm like, what? Oh, Dr. Dr. Pepper? This is the detail. The detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all he drank. <laughs> I said, bro, you should drink water. He's like, nope. Dr. Pepper. That's funny. Yeah, I think he doesn't anymore, but I don't. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, anyways, you make you make it, bro. You still make it, bro. <laughs> well, we only did this once. I never did this more than once. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but good measure, yeah. we uh, put a little weed in the bottom of a bowl and then put a little nutmeg, nutmeg on top of it out. and smoked nutmeg, which I ten out of ten do not recommend. Uh, that is the worst thing you could do. Yeah. And I, can't then, I can't really picture what it looks like. For like over it's a like year. Yeah. Like cinnamon. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. For over a year, I couldn't eat anything with nutmeg in it because I would instantly taste it. So, was <laughs> it like when, it, when, it, when, you, when, you, when you burn it, did it like get fucking horribly? Did it taste just fucking horrible? Yeah. Because, and it hurt, it, because it was burnt? And it hurt my lungs. No, it just hurt. And it gosh. crackled. Did it just burn like a motherfucker? It was so bad. It's just, it's just a fire in your lungs. so bad. <laughs> it's like you shouldn't smoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The definitely the weirdest thing that because I wasn't yeah, sure where the, so where the thing would go of like so me and dumb. a couple friends smoked catnip before. Okay, yeah, that's no, no, pretty funny. Yeah. That's reasonable to try to get high. That's just reasonable. Sure, like, it's yeah. Not even that bad. That one was a little strange. But that's like we don't have weed. This is kind of yeah, weird. catnip. Like let's just start in this pipe and see what happens. Yeah. It's like okay, now my head hurts a little bit. I guess I feel different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's about it. I've got some bad ones. So the one that I thought of right away was the classic. Um, uh, you, you cross your arms and oh, yeah. presses on you real hard and you pass out. I've done that one yeah, too. I've yeah. done that one. That's so stupid. We all done that one. Yeah, yeah. 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 But you ever do it with the inhaler though? No. What's dude. that? I, probably because I had an inhaler and that's why everybody was like, dude. <laughs> well, like use your, like an albuterol uh, inhaler. Mm -hmm. um, Did it just get you to that point earlier? Yeah, it does something strange where it's like, Giving your oxygen, it's giving you oxygen, and then you exhale, and it's all go. It's like a boost, and then everything goes oh, away. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so you're like yeah. boosting it, and then taking yeah. it away. Oh yeah. Uh, besides that, though, that's bad for you, right? Didn't we all find yeah, out? So bad. It's I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 exactly. You're sick. It's fixing. That could exactly. have been one of the worst things that any of us had done. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I'm and we didn't sure. even know. Plus, uh, you could no. you could pass out, fall, hit your head. I I loved, yeah, exactly. I love duster. That's the worst. That's pretty bad. My, yeah, that's been my second one, like pain. I did yeah. that too. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, it's so bad, dude. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah don't it's do the it. The worst don't thing that ever happened. Please don't. It was. I regret doing all. Do you of ever that. do any uh, experimental chemicals, like like uh, research drugs? Yeah, yeah. I like, didn't know like like the weird like acidy drugs. That yeah, that have like numbers. Like two eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. T T B T something, and then there's one just called Alpha Zero. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you just like, it's powder and you put it like- I'm curious in. about your experience. Yeah, I mean you throw up and then you trip Oh, did bit. you throw up? Oh yeah. I think that's, okay, so let me ask you this. This is why I only did it once. Because normally when you do sin, you're not supposed to taste it. And it's so, you know, it's like so creeper on. But like this was like, it tasted like I just 
ate like fucking battery acid. Yes. And then the, the, the high came off of that. Yeah. And it was Im- almost immediate. Yes. Then I, it felt wonky. And I was like, this is wrong. This that's is wrong. That's exactly what it is. Yeah? yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then the was, feeling it was just like, yeah, and, then, and, and sometimes you throw up. <laughs> I'm not surprised. And now yeah. I'm starting to think like, yeah, no, that makes sense. Honestly, like, and when you throw up, then you're good. Yeah. You're like, I think I remember that now. Yeah. And well, I think I remember my friends throwing so you up. Probably, you probably just didn't ever get past that tense. Moment. I don't think I did. Yeah. Yeah. So I did that like, I did that like legal, that spiced stuff. Oh shit. And That's that, that was really shit. bad. I felt horrible. like I was shitting myself. That is the other one that popped in my head. I wasn't, but I felt like I was shitting myself. Well, like, right. like that, was, that was bad. Oh, yeah. I did that a lot. Drinking Robitussin. Oh that yeah, that's a, a crazy one. Yeah. Cough syrup. Um, Robitussin. Two yeah. bottles, man. See, now I you don't guys, like the feeling of that. You, did, I, I you have to drink so much of it. See, I didn't do the liquid though. I did the the Coruscant. Oh, triple C's, oh. triple C's, triple C's. Triple C's. But like, okay, when we were younger, Coruscant. that that Coruscant. shit was that shit was um in the on the shelves. Available. Yeah, just now yeah. and now it's behind the counter. Yes. Oh, like you yeah. have to ask to get it. Yes. Because yes. people would just go in and fucking steal them bitches. Yes, dude. Hey, this stuff is not. Yeah. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do no, this. Please don't do that. No, no, no. That's it's why it's literally life lessons. Dumb stuff. It's life yeah, lessons. It's life lessons. It's the dumbest thing you've ever done. Yeah, things yeah. that you would, I would go back and change. If I yes. literally, yes, exactly. Yep. Boom. If I had a time machine, I would go back yep. and say, I would slap myself in the face. I'd say, yep. get a fucking Definitive. practice pad and yeah, yeah, play exactly. drums, you fucking asshole. It was like that era. It sent me back to going back to football. Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, you need to you need to get your ass together. Yeah. And I went back and joined football for one more year, and that was my junior year. Just to have some just fun. to have get discipline. Discipline, yeah. exactly. So, and it set me back on track. Yeah. yeah. It got me back on music and yeah. like away from that. So yeah, that was where like, like there's a part of me that's like, yeah, that we were saying the thing about like when you smoked weed and listened to Led Zeppelin, yeah, yeah, how yeah. It, it showed you something. Yeah. And that's what's good about it. But then it's so easy as a kid. Like, oh yeah. To take it just a little too far. Yeah. And that's what I know that I did. Same. There was there was a line I wish I could go back and just say, just stop that dude. Honestly, that's yes. why people smoke cigarettes. It's the same reason. It's yeah. it's the that's I am bored point. and I want to get slightly high. Or yeah. like a little fucked up. Exactly. Right? It's yeah. like <laughs> that's it's a little something. Yeah, it's like yeah. let's do something. We're fucking kids. We don't have cars. Yeah. Or like we can't do anything, we have no money. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Let's yeah. let's get fucked up. Let's get because... five dollars together and buy a pack of cigs. Yeah, let's spend all day hunting down some weed that yeah. you know what I mean, so that we can roll so one blunt that yeah. is, and half of it's fucking seeds and, and the fucking It's so true. It's like, oh that's your whole day. That was the mission, yeah. yeah. Some, some hacky some sacking in there. Hey, yeah. on the couch. Oh, I did a lot of hacky sack. You know, that's true. I do kind of miss those days of like, there were so many times we'd scrape together like five, ten bucks. We had a buddy that had mids yeah. and we would just go and get a, a G or a half a G and then just like smoke it in a hacky sack. Yeah. yeah. And, and we achieved our day. Yeah. That's the whole day. Yeah. We're like, all right, we're good. Yeah. 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 Anyways, that's that's well, if, you could, if you could also manage to go down to the corner store with like a buck too. Yeah. Get like a soda Snacks. or like a fucking yep. something. Yep. That yeah. was the best. Yeah, yeah. Then we did this place called Rick's Newsstand. Yeah, Rick's News, bro. Yeah, we, we I would go in there and get is that some walkable from your house. It, not from where my house is now, but from where I live. Yeah, 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 yeah it, it was. Okay, yeah, yeah, and it, it was like a family. It was like a not yeah, like, like a, a. It wasn't Turkey Hill. Like somebody yeah. owned it. Yeah, we, I had one of those too. It's, it's called Greer's. Nice. It's the Mrs. Greer, and yeah, so like a little family owned yeah. like corner store type deal yeah. that we could ride our bikes to. It was my middle yeah. school football coach. That's great. That owned that. What really, Rick's? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's who that was. Was his name Rick? His brother. Yeah, his name was Rick. Oh, his his awesome. brother just died. Unfortunately, he was uh, mm-hmm. he was a football coach too in Mannheim. They're both like Mannheim like staple people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was now, cool. I love Rick's new stand. I mean, something classic. classic to it. It's something else, but yeah. Did you ever steal from there? Yes. <laughs> Well, I think yeah, I still. Yeah. I mean, when you're we kids, all did. Well, okay. So what's K-6? goes hand in hand? What goes hand in no, hand with fucking? <laughs> what goes hand in hand? I was stoned. stealing candy sticks from getting stoned oh, uh, in ways you shouldn't and stealing. That's yeah. like, that's that's the same type of behavior. The thrill. Right? I mean, yeah. yeah. They yeah. caught me once. Um, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Would you guys ever but, like? Go but ahead. I I mean, once again, I mean, I regret that shit. I mean, I wish yeah. I didn't do any shoplifting. Yeah, shoplifting is super dumb. Yeah, but that's how you know, though. You gotta test. Like, yep. it's almost like. Yeah. <laughs> you have to experiment with like <laughs> you can get yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, you do. You yeah, have to do a little yeah. bit of crime and get I tell you what, it's, it's in us all. Yeah. It's in, and you have to acknowledge it and yeah. then reconcile it. Yes. You can't pretend it's not there. Yes. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Like I like how uh, Jordan Peterson points it out a lot about um 
acknowledging like the terror <laughs> that lives inside him. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, yeah. I can relate to that. I, I, there's aspects of myself that I'm like, whoo. Yeah. But I just like kind of just like watch it now. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? You're yeah. an observer to the good. And yeah, just exactly. Keep it, yeah. keep it in check. Yeah. You're so an observer along those lines. Too. Yeah, you're an observer too. Yeah. You gotta. I forget not... why I brought that up. What were we talking about? Um, stealing. Stealing. Yeah, Shop stealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing was, you have to do that shit in a way to find out. I would steal. Uh, I would steal. So they had these like top top uh, tobacco with papers. Yeah. And they had them um, where you could go in and grab them. And so I'd walk in with my skateboard and I'd go grab one and put it under my skateboard real quick. Mm-hmm. Like I'd pick up two. This was the this was the method. I'd pick up two, but I'd kind of hide one under the one. And then I'd go to, I would like, while looking at it, I'd grab it and throw the other one in like simultaneously, like some sleight of hand Fucking shit. skills, dude. And then Don't I would- Don't do it. <laughs> He's like, dude, that sounds awesome. Dude, amateur yeah. magic would probably help you. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I never yeah. thought about that. Me neither. Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. And yeah. then I just like hit it under my skateboard oh my and walked out with it on my skateboard. That's. Yeah. A, I feel like that's a, sorry, a tangent. That's a dying art. Yeah. Like that sleight of, sleight of hand. hand, even magic, that type of thing. Well, there's that guy, Julius Dean. You've yeah. seen him, the like no. nerdy British guy no. on, t- on uh, Instagram. He's got like, like, Three, four million followers. Sweet. So he's yeah. like an upcoming new. Yeah, you see him doing stuff with Drake and doing stuff with these people. Oh, like cool. All sorts of famous people. Nice. There, there is actually a pretty good. I mean, magic isn't completely that's, out there. It's it's pretty popular. Okay, no, I'll, I'll, I'll put it my way. Like Let me put it this way. I, I we grew up in Mannheim. Yeah. Small town. There was one person I know. Joey. Joey Haley. Dude, he's he's cool. I don't know. I, I wish. Yeah. Yeah. He, he he he's really good. He's been doing it for his whole life. Yeah. Since I know so him, good. since I was a kid. He had just like, I don't know. I love it. It's brilliant. I think that the way that the, the mind, like, that's a that's a unique mind to me. He would walk around with his deck. Yeah. And like, if he saw somebody, and he's, I, I remember her saying like, bro, oh, do a trick. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. It's, it's so fun. Something. It's yeah. so fun. But like, dude, how many can you name off the top of your head that you know? Like, I could name so yeah. many musicians. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Granted, yeah. I am a musician. Like, I could even, I, I could even think of like, what's, what's, what's another? Like, I could think of athletes. For sure, from this area, I don't, I'm not really much of. Well, I, I'm just trying to think. Like, I'm not magicians. into magicians, but yeah. I just I don't think I have to be into magicians to know about them. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. That's true. I just don't see it. But then again, I don't You're see right. it as it's much. Not, it's not as like there's more comedy. Yeah, yeah. You see that more. Yeah. Oh, I love even comedy. Open, even open mics and, and and like things like that. You see more spoken word comedy and musicians. Yep. Almost no magicians. Yep. Yeah, Great. that's true. Yeah, weird. Yeah, it's because it's that's a specific like art, like like a, a tradition. You know yeah. what I mean? That you have to like work really hard at. It's well, like well, anybody can kind of pick up an instrument and do something. Yeah. Like, whether it's like what, to go back to what we were saying earlier, whether or not you find it art or not, somebody can express themselves with an instrument Toast. easily. Toast. But you can't always fool some some people <laughs> by just picking just it up. Picking up guard. <laughs> yeah. Have it. You gotta put in the fucking work. And everybody knows there's a trick to it. That is true. Everybody knows there's a trick to it. There's no such thing as like real magic. Right, so you have to be good. Yeah. You know, you have to be good. Because it's illusion. You can't have it. Yeah. You can't. You could almost be half decent at an instrument. Yeah. And 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 like happens all the time. Get get away with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're still right about that. Yeah, that's that's all the time. The Ramones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're There's, not great, but they wrote good catchy songs. Yeah, and that's what punk rock's about, not about being great. Right. right. Or like every rapper ever. Yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> that's a hot take. Uh, Clip that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's not, it doesn't happen to music a long time. Yeah. You know? No, that's cool, man. Well, uh, I know... Um, I saw this like video of Penn and Teller doing some magic, but he like showed the. So, yeah, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, so they're like the two people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the one dude doesn't really talk. No, he and, never talks. Yeah, he never talks, and then the other dude talks a bunch. And the guy who doesn't talk's name is Teller. That's. Funny. And they they do like uh, comedy. He's a bigger guy. He's got like one of his uh, uh, nails painted and like a big big old earring. And yeah, they do these like it's like half comedy. Um, yeah. Go ahead. But yeah, he was like, you know, like some of it's stupid, some of it's like magic, you know? And he basically took one of the people on the panel that were there and he had like a bunch of these strings and he was just like showing the audience and everybody yeah, yeah. what he was doing, yeah. but the, the the person who was there didn't see it. Yeah. So it, it was like, she didn't see the trick, yeah. but everybody else did. So you yeah. got to yeah. like... Just so good. It was cool. Yeah. Cause it, they're yeah. amazing. It's showing you the uh, this aspect of it's it's flipping it on its 
other side. Yeah, that's yeah, such yeah. a good idea. They, they're oh, like yeah. kind engaging of like, as fuck. They're yeah. like kind of like rock and roll magician. And they do that show. I gotta, uh, I gotta, wait, they're on Instagram? Is that what uh, you said? I don't know. Uh, probably oh, talking just, about somebody else. I'm following. They've been famous for a really long time, so Penn and Teller. Yeah. Penn Gillette is, is, is the Penn's name. Penn Gillette and... They have a, um, yeah. a podcast, Penn Sunday School. Oh, nice. Which I used to listen to all the time. Yeah, um, I just don't listen to listen to podcasts Shit. anymore. How do I find it, guys? Um, Penn, just uh, I just go on YouTube and look up Penn and Teller. Yeah, you that's what I did. YouTube. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. Instagram guys, Julius Dean, but you should. Look oh, that's him. what I'm confusing yeah. it with. Look him Sorry. up though too, because he's good. He's the modern guy down here. Oh, yeah. cool. Came right up. Obviously. And he's like he's huge and with um, probably the only modern magician that I know. Of. And there's this guy P- uh, Pip the Dragon. Though. All right, sweet. What's the uh, uh, sorry? What's the Instagram guy's name again? Julius. Julius. Dean. Dean, what a great name. Oh, D I N. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Love some magic, dude. It'll pop up on my feed now. Yep, he's he's Instagram as fuck. Awesome. But the Penn and Teller guys have been around a long time. Like, yeah, yeah. And they have that show Bullshit, um, which where they go and debunk things like uh, a bunch of stuff. Cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's got a show also called Penn and Teller Fool Us. Where that's, you, where you, that's what came up. Where you come on and you're, you fool have us. to like try to fool on them on YouTube. That's yeah, what and if they can tell you how you did the trick, like other magicians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking sick idea. Yeah, yeah they have to, and then if they know how you did the trick, then you lose. But if you can that's fool, fool them, you win. It's what do you win? Cash? Yeah. It's and like, and then you get to like open for them in Vegas and shit. Oh my god. Yeah. That's killer. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah, they, that's. They're they're great. Like smart marketing too, though. Like now, every time I see something like that, I'm like. I think about me doing my thing, trying to push my business, or us trying to push Medusa, yeah. and how aren't they just technically just coming up with a really good idea? Oh my God, dude, we could, we could have people come on and try to fool us. Like, <laughs> like who came up with that idea? Like yeah, that's right. so good. Yeah. Like that's just smart marketing. Yeah, and they're they're not actually having to do. So. Yeah. I think they do do. I think they do magic tricks like, on that show. It's kind of like yeah. yeah, yeah. It's kind of like instead like of it. it's like instead of just us like sure we're gonna go out and play shows, but what else are we gonna do? Yeah. We started the podcast. Yeah, that was exactly. another cool thing. Yeah. That was like a, like another way. So that's that's kind of let's learn magic, guys. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we have to do. Yeah, we're gonna fool everyone into liking our bands. No. See, you actually do like it. So. I I don't quite have the dexterity to do magic. You know, who I'm like right under magic level. You know what I mean? Like I I tried. It's me, hard. Me and um Chris were watching some old Medusa videos the other day, and yeah. uh, the Justin Green ones came came up. Um, uh, just in the moment. Just in the moment. Oh. And I was thinking we should have him on the podcast. Cause, yeah, he wants to. Because he knows so much about the band. Like, you can tell, like, just from those small videos, which are hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, too, would be a cool one to have on just to talk about the band. We should get Amanda in here. She was part of uh, ERA. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we can talk about Besides it. Besides having the people on that people know from other stuff, just for us to be able to talk to you for Exactly. For almost like a selfish. I think it's, yeah, it, that's probably not a bad orientation yeah. because it, the point is the substance of the conversation. Yeah, exactly. So if, we're, if, it, if it makes it hot, then. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Who did you just say? Oh, yeah, Justin. Yeah. We're not talking right now. Oh, no. Yeah, it's okay. We sometimes don't talk because he's got to get his shit together. But when he gets his shit together, we should have him on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to get that shit together. Yeah. yeah. He has a really interesting mind and it'll be really entertaining. And he's been, yeah, he's been like my best friend for like. Since I was in fifth grade. Yeah, long. Yeah. yeah, but now like, yeah, Justin, if you're watching this, it's okay. I love you. No, I've always liked Justin. Honestly. But yeah, no, I'm really upfront about it. Like he, like he has his struggles. No, he's our, like, our friendship yeah. goes through dips, and like, but somehow it's maintained. <laughs> but he's a good guy. Yeah, he's just, that's he's what just, it is. He's just, uh, he's just uh, has a troubled life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he has a really good heart, but yeah. he just has a str- he has his struggles, very deep struggles. Yeah. See, Thanks. I think that is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I'm, yeah. I'm always, I'm always kind of there for him regardless. Yeah. 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 He always does better when he's not drinking. Yeah, exactly. He it's, always does better when he's not it's drinking. It's that, dude. Yeah. He gets, but that's people. That's you exactly. know, alcohol. Alcohol no. does that. It's just what it is. Well, it's the, I think it's vices in general. Alcohol is just a way easier to tell. That is true. That is but true. But like, so if somebody gets back on cigarettes, they maybe not don't have as much energy or whatever. You you can't tell as much. It's interesting. But it's like your vices. If you lean hard into them, mine because mine is overeating. And if I overeat, my body just throws it right on. And if I stop overeating, my body gets rid of it right away. So um, it's like, right. it's one of those things. Where that's interesting. Like, that's what I struggle with is the like, I get a little stone and then want to eat ice cream. And yeah. I live with Chris Mulder who that. just does it whatever he, he wants. does he that. Eats, yeah. 
two bowls of ice cream. Right. And I'm like, yeah. I gotta, and I'm not blaming him, but no, but that's um, that's, that's a factor. It's a factor. Yeah, for sure. You're, you're around it. He brings it in the house. I don't bring it in the house. Totally, totally. Um, and they got these damn kids, and they got candy all the time. You know, for, for me, it's, all the temptation in the world, yeah. bro. That's tough. So, but everybody, it's. I think it's important for you to notify. You have to identify your vice, your Agreed. big spot. Yep. And so you can keep half. I, I was about there. to say that yeah. when you brought up the eating thing. Yeah. That's good that you know that, because. A lot of people don't want to fuck it. Yeah, it sounds cliche as fuck, but you gotta acknowledge it first. Yeah, right. And it's it would be easy for me to get down on myself and like because I feel fat and right. you know, feel like I have been control blah blah blah. blah. Mm -hmm. So it's like you have to know it and be mindful of it. Yeah. And also just to give yourself a break. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you have to know you will yeah. fuck up. Yeah. Uh, there's this. Yeah. Joseph Goldstein gave me like the little phrase that it's like you will uh, like relish kind of relish in the fact that you acknowledged it right yes and realize that it, once again it, it makes you kind of it tricks your mind into leaning into just the noticing fact yeah factor of it yeah. so like shit like i am this is my vice it is there fuck but at least i'm noticing it and like i'm not literally doing it at this very moment exactly you know you're yeah. noticing yeah. that you're thinking about it mm-hmm that's profound yeah that yeah. is fucking profound and a lot of people when they notice that they're noticing that will get scared because they're afraid oh this is my thing this is my vice it's this big weight all of a sudden because mm -hmm. they're they're seeing it as a problem but if you see the seeing as a, as a, the solution yes right. yeah yeah that's the trick well what it's oh. caused me to do is to start exercising a little bit yeah so it's like pushing me to exercise exactly. and i'm like almost at the point where i'm gonna join a gym um nice. i'm pretty close nice. <laughs> it's just the mental nice. like like thing about it um, but it's sitting there. But it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's like it's, it's turning a little it's bit. Like, yeah, exactly. That's funny. You know, you know how, especially men, we, we were just talking where we're like, you get that thing in your head, and then eventually you're like, all right, I'm gonna fucking take the track out or whatever it is. You know what I mean? That's how I work too. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about exercise. Yeah, well, because I mean, I've been like walking like a, a 1.2 to 2.4 miles a day. Yeah. Uh, dragging uh, Piper around in a little wagon mm -hmm. around my house. Yeah. And some of it's uphill, and I mean, I was just talking to you about on the way over here. I, like, I feel better than I ever have. Uh, well, not really ever have, but I feel like my old self. Yeah, yeah. I've been pretty sedentary, and that's kind of my advice. You have that, you have that injury though, too. Well, that's part of it, but it's been before that. I can't, I can't blame an injury on yeah. that. Like, that's not. Um, but you know, and I just started doing that walking, and you know, hanging out. Cause I love taking my daughter for a walk. It's amazing. You know what I mean? It's yeah. fun. Yeah, I've got something to do for her. She loves it. Yeah. Free weights and yoga. That's what I've been doing. But I'd like to go and actually do like go to a place where I'm there for exercising. Yeah. And then like do that for like an hour. You know what I mean? Yeah. As yeah. opposed to like picking up the free weights for ten minutes and then sure. like, doing like fifteen minutes of yoga. Yeah. That 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 could either one could work. You you gotta figure out which one works for you. Yeah. Like it might be better to compartmentalize and make it more structured. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah for sure. But that's something because it's also the whole thing of like leaving the house to go do something. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's like you, you know you're more willing. You get more into a habit of like I'm I'm going to do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to like. You know, people that have, like, exercise stuff in the basement, and it's like mm -hmm. then you're right. Home well, is a place you could walk down, yeah. Yeah, 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 not to go get something. But you know, sure. Yeah, that's yep. the nice thing about the uh, whole wagon thing. You know, like the wagon thing almost kind of, and my daughter just sort of represents that. Like, it's a reason to walk other than just exercise. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. beyond that. And yeah, so true. So like my like part of my will to do it in the first place wasn't even because I wanted to walk a mile a day. Yeah. It was just, I started feeling good after two days of doing it and was like, wait, why is this feeling good? I get yeah. it. I'm yeah. walking. You yeah. Know? And then, shit. Then, yeah. You, then you started having this whole mental realization that this, uh, what was the word that you used for sitting still again? Oh, sedentary. The sedentary yeah. like behavior it was making, was you, making feel like you feel like shit. And then yeah. he, then when she started walking, and like to get a frame of reference, you said in the car that you felt this is the best you felt in ten years. Yep. Yeah. The best which I think is pretty crazy. Yes. Yeah. And like, for me, I, like I think life is incredibly mysterious. Even the fact that we are existing now is the most mysterious thing that could ever happen. But the the fact like that shift inside you is mysterious to me. And we were talking about that on the way here. Yeah. And we were kind of dissecting all the causes and just like what yeah. what is the shift and like what. And how it bleeds into life. I have an yeah. I have a concept of that. Yeah. It's, it's more of a philosophy. Definitely. But I feel like 
There's like um, your, I mean, to use Dragon Ball Z term, like your final Love. form, yeah. your like optimal self shines through almost like from the future. Yeah, yeah. And gives you these signposts and things. And some, if you're, if you get really good at noticing the subtle clues, yeah, you notice it right away. You're, you tell yourself when something's not right, when you're not doing something you should be doing. Totally. Yeah. And you also tell yourself when you're doing something you should be doing. Mm -hmm. So it's whether or not how you actually respond to that mm -hmm. is going to be when it happens. But most things happen in these cyclical ways and it just keeps coming stronger and stronger and stronger until you act on it. You know right. what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's my philosophy is that sure, yeah. those things were, have been happening for a long time before you even noticed them. Correct. Small yeah. Like that. Correct. Yeah. And yeah. then you finally reach a point where your head's above the clouds and you're right. like, oh, so where, you, what, like yeah. that shift. Yeah. Yeah. It's so interesting. Yeah. 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 yeah it's like, you, it's like a breaking point where you finally. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. and I agree about the processes. Yeah. It, like that are just happening. Like always. Always. And yeah. then it's something. You like notice that with children when they, it's when they're time. trying to learn a lesson, they make a mistake, they make a mistake. And you, 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 you see the cyclical you, nature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You really do. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and on a, uh, as in a, more of an observer. Exactly. Than, yeah. than your own self. You yeah. Say, well, identified. that's interesting from a parent, parental point of view. I, I've grown a lot as a person since Piper was born. Just yeah. in just I mean, just ridiculously. In all yeah. yeah, I can see that from the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. ridiculous. Like a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, as it should be. I knew it. I knew I would. Yeah. I love what so Tom cool. Segura says. This is great. He's like, being a parent doesn't change you, but being a parent should change you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. it should. Yeah. And uh, I knew it would, yeah. and I'm glad it did. Yeah. Because I'm just. Way more of a complete person now yeah. that I'm also a dad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the purpose for, dude, for, for for striving to be better. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a not huge just about purpose. It. It's yeah. a exactly. huge yeah. purpose. It, it's, man. The, it's this selflessness that glimpses, it's like a glimpse of the, the, the relationship with your daughter gives you a glimpse into your true nature. Yep. Yeah. Which is this selflessness. Yeah. And then and then that just improves your life. Even though like yeah. there is somewhat of selfish nature inside of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. In its own sense. There's nothing you know, wrong no, no. with being a little selfish though. It, you have to be that way yeah. in order to be there for your daughter. Yeah. Right? You have to be selfish. If selfish is on a be... spectrum, yeah. you can be somewhere on the selfish side of the yeah. spectrum and not be a fucking asshole. Exactly. You have to be. You, I would yeah, say. You what, have to be. What, yeah. I, what I think it is is you're including your tribe. Your tribe is now your daughter and your wife. Yeah. And you are selfish against that and selfless with that. But then mm. when you navigate through life, the people you encounter with, you are still selfless with those people. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, like, yeah. like that sort of like human yeah. nature, like it's applied in life. It you know bleeds I mean? out. Yeah, it bleeds, it, yeah. And I, yeah. I think that that is so profound, just like ridiculously tr or like transformative. Yeah, like that's what you're experiencing. Yeah, I'm right? feeling. I'm feeling. Yeah, it's insane. It's insanity, dude. Like it's probably I mean, the biggest transformation I've seen in someone in a long while. Thank you, man. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that. I'm trying. Yeah, you know? and that's uh, I will say too. Like, and nothing's perfect. I'm still not perfect. I still fuck up a lot. And you, you were talking about the dip. You're like, dude, it's gonna dip. No. Well, yeah, yeah, I know it's gonna dip. Yeah, I know, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna dip. I know yeah. but yeah, yeah. you know, it's like I think the idea is is like, don't fear it too much. Yeah. Trust yourself. Exactly. And and don't that faith and trust is is serious. Yeah. Like trust yeah. in yourself. Like know that you can still handle it. Through the dip, you yeah. gotta push through the dip. Yeah, make the dip as small as possible. Yeah, and then you go back up again. I yeah. know I'm gonna. And dip. Don't, don't beat yourself up over it. Yeah. Not even dipping. And yes. in a way, you just you just beat the biggest dip. Like yeah. you, you had a huge, massive dip. Yeah, it's true. Like that was massive. Yeah, and now you're getting that weight off, and it's like now you're really starting to notice. Whoa, there was like a weight. Huge. In a way, huge. Yeah. yeah. So well, it's like. Well, and I've like, I mean, I've I should give you confidence. I've dissected it quite a bit. I mean, there's a lot of like self resentment I had for the period of time that I did drugs. Yeah. And because I left music, and I knew yeah. that that was such yeah. an integral part of my identity, and it like, it's the architecture for a lot of like my behavior as a human so being. You, you know, can orient mean? yourself. Yeah, like okay. it, yeah. And I wasn't, and like I know that my potential. I would be further along as a human being in my potential if I did not do that. Yeah. And like, I have to, I had to overcome that like self resentment, you know? Yes. That's incredibly difficult. And I mean, it's still difficult. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's not necessarily something I have control over. Yeah. You know, like I can't, 
make that self resentment go away. I, don't, yeah, I just I have don't, to learn to live with it. Exactly. It's not something that you conquer in the sense that it goes away. Yeah. It's something that you learn to view differently. Yeah, and cope with. You just cope. You, like, yeah. I'm gonna have that. I'm mad at myself for that. I can relate, can't change the past. I can relate to that because I've been divorced, and that's like a, a thing that you regret heavily. You know right, I mean? right, right, right. Like someone you dedicate being your, with your whole life, and yeah, then all of a sudden. They're like, I can't stand you as a, as a human being. I don't want to do this yeah. anymore. Yeah. That's, that, that's easy to find regret in that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, it's interesting because that was the moment that I really, that I transformed. So you guys yeah. kind of met me like right around that time. Yeah. That yeah. I was like changing. Sh- sh- and I, I think that's no coincidence for a reason. Like you had the space for it. We came along. I was recommitting my life to music. You were able to go back. Yeah. yeah. Reoriented yourself in a yeah. way. Yeah. And now we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It's crazy when I think about like how much music was a catalyst for the human being I am yeah. right now, especially like returning to it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like coming back and yeah. just doing it. I equate it to so much of how I orient my myself, and I think it saved me from. I think it helped me prioritize my future, like that, because I like people like it made me do. It made me do. It made me get less fucked up at times. Yeah. And like focus on my music. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm here to play music. I'm not here to get fucked up. Like, and I, it's not that I didn't get fucked up, but there was, and then like now, but now I have like almost no desire to it's get fucked priority. up. It's, at all. it's a higher priority. Now it's even a higher priority. Yeah. I mean, let me tell you, music has been a high fucking priority my whole life. Oh, yeah. To the point where I sacrifice time, money, relationships, everything. Anything. And now it's even higher than that. Yes. Yeah. Because I don't even have any, vi- I have less vices. Yeah. You know? And it's not that I don't have them, but I don't drink, so I don't, they don't, f- like, the, the, when I drink, the vices come out yeah. easier, yep. and that's why I don't like alcohol. Yeah, yeah that's you why know? I don't like You almost make, make working become your vice, you know what I mean? The way, yeah, exactly. Like, the thing that you're obsessed over that is, like, informing everything is this, like, creative pursuit, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So that's what makes, it becomes that's the, what makes me think, like, oh, if we're going to be doing this, I should go to the gym and get better in better shape because you're exactly. gonna be on the road and playing yeah. more shows. He was just like, talking about his his kick, his right foot. Yeah, I feel my right foot feels a lot better since right been now. walking. <laughs> since I've been walking, it's like, that's insane, right? Yeah, like well, how how crazy is that? It, it feels like a lot more solid. You know what I mean? <laughs> it really does. Not from playing, from walking. Yeah, just from walking. That's profound. Yeah, but we had, I mean, we had a oh yeah, that's time. right. We should we should check we, that. We can yeah. keep rolling, bro. Yeah, that, that's a good conversation. Yeah, we started like um like. 40 minutes, 42 minutes. Yeah. I think so we're, we're going to we're gonna call it because yeah. we're going to try to get in another one so that we can keep on our schedules. Yeah, take a little break. And take a little break. We'll be back with uh, with you next week on the Van Brink. Van Brink! What's up, y'all? Van Brink!